Attention ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the master class. Today we'll be talking about Minitab. Yeah, today is a Minitab day. Please type on a scale from 0 to 10. How is my audio? <laughs> how is my audio, please? How is my audio? Mainly my audio. Yeah. On a scale from 0 to 10. Yeah. If you guys can hear me okay, I can see Stefano, David, Fidel, I can see Richard, Cephas, I can see Mufu Melelo, I can see Ranzi, Ezra, Roberto, Christian. Now type here on a, uh, one word that translates how did your week start? How are you doing so far? How are you doing so far in this first week of August? Yeah, please type here for me. How are you doing? How how have your uh, you know uh, week started? Yeah, please, so I can have a sense of uh, how are you guys feeling, you know, today. So I can see an excellent, well, I can see great, I can see ten. That's wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So so <laughs> surviving mode. <laughs> oh my God, no. Well, good, great, great, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. The name of our uh, masterclass today is Introduction to Minitab. So I know that many of you guys have already started using Minitab. But even if you have some, some level of, of knowledge, you know, ability with Minitab, I still strongly recommend that you stay here because I will be presenting some tips and tricks that I truly think will be very much, very much useful, okay? Very much useful. So I just need to know, to have a sense of the audience here live, um, please type one if you are completely new to Minitab, meaning, Marcelo, I have never, I, ha I have never opened, you know, a Minitab, then type one. Two is, Marcelo, I've opened, but I have like minimal knowledge. And three is, Marcelo, no, I, I know how to run, you know, some graphical analysis. I know how to run some um, hypothesis test, control chart. Yes. So, <clears throat> newbie, wonderful. That's great. That's great. That's great. Wonderful. So, regardless if you are a one, a two, or a three, you are very much welcomed. Okay. I can see... A strong concentration on um, on ones, guys. I need ten seconds just to grab some water. I just need some water. Ten seconds, and then you guys can take a look on Minitab. In the, mean, in the meantime, back water so important so important right so important and you know what since I gave a break I'm gonna take my my vitamins yeah it's you know 40 40 plus years old I need to have these, you know, vitamins and uh, yeah, vitamin D and uh, a lot of things that doctor said that I need to take, you know. Uh, and there we go, there we go. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Minitab, it was created in the 1970s, okay? Penn State University. So we are talking about United States. Yes, we are talking about the state of Pennsylvania. Four professors, four professors. By the way, one 
of these professors uh, is the current uh, president of Minitev, Barbara Ryan, yes? And the main objective of the, the these four professors, the main objective was they realized that when they were teaching some uh, statistical concepts, you know, students were spending so much energy, so much energy um, doing the math, doing the calculation, you know, that when, when the conclusions were there presented, they were so tired that they were not interested <laughs> in understanding the conclusions. Yeah, so the professors thought we need to find a way to kind of um, optimize the usage of energy of the students. So we have room, room in terms of energy to, 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 to you know, to consume energy to analyze the results. So imagine that you need to plot a control chart, you need to spend one hour calculating data point by data point. At the end of this one hour, you are exhausted. You are drained. So very likely you will need, you will need um, some rest, you know? So that's a beautiful, I think it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful purpose. Yeah, it's a beautiful objective, you know, to optimize the usage of energy from the students so they could uh, use more more time and more energy really to interpret the results. Yes, 1970s. Then what happened in the following decade? What happened in 1980? I, I mean, a lot of things happened, but there are two things uh, very much important. One method that was created in the 1980s that is a Six Sigma, Six Sigma, and another thing was the huge, huge, huge increase of, let's say, of the popularity of PCs, of personal computer, 1980s, 1990s, yeah? So these two factors, PCs, com computer, yeah? Com let's say computer, yeah? To, every, to everyone, plus Six Sigma, uh, supported a lot the growth of Minitab. Today, Minitab is by far the most popular statistical software in this planet. By far. More than 90% of the Fortune 500 companies by, by Forbes, they use Minitab. So it's very common in corporate, very common in... Um, in academy, in the universities, you will find many, many papers that use mini, many, many, many papers that use Minitab to support their conclusions. Yes, Minitab analysis to support their conclusions. Pharmaceutical companies use Minitab a lot. So there is a very high chance that this vitamin that I was taking here, uh, the final product, came from a uh, one or more Minitab analysis, there is a very high chance, yeah? Uh, what, what else? Uh, automotive sector, a lot. Banks, banks use Minitab very much. Insurance companies, uh, we can also highlight, we can also highlight healthcare. Now many, many hospitals are using Minitab, you know, many, many hospitals to, to, optimize for example the procedures on uh, er yeah emergency room procedures you know to reduce lead time to maximize quality yeah so many tab it's very popular but i want to reinforce something here it is not the only one so i don't want you to think that i am running this session because i am a minute partner okay uh I am talking about Minitab because it's my responsibility as a Lean Six Sigma instructor. I am your Lean Six Sigma educator. So if I don't talk about Minitab, I am crazy. I am being irresponsible. Yeah, because Minitab is by far the most popular statistical software. But at the same time, 
I don't want you to think that I'm forcing you to use Minitab. No, it's up to you. It's up to you. You can use Excel, you can use uh, R, you can use uh, Action, you can use Jump. I, I, as a Lean Six Sigma educator, you know, it's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. But again, by far Minitab is the most used, the most popular, the most famous, yeah? And obviously very much reliable, very much reliable. Because this is a serious thing, yeah? For, I mean, we don't know exactly. They're, they're at a certain level, it's a kind of black box. You are, you are trusting, you know, you are trusting the software, you know, to, to, to present, yeah, to, to present your final uh, conclusions. And based on the final conclusions, you'll be taking actions. You'll be buying a new machine or new machines. You'll be implementing an, a new <coughs> production flow. You'll be, you know, rejecting a vitamin or a medicine, you know, or you'll be, you will be approving a medicine, you know. So it's a serious it's a serious conversation, you know. Once again, I don't want to force you to use uh, to use Minitab, but it's important for me to highlight that uh, there is a history. There is a history. Yeah, it's a software that exists since the 1970s. Yeah, and it's the and, and just grows. You know, it's in, it's impressive. It's impressive the number of. Uh, um, of new companies that 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 start using Minitab, that that that's very impressive. Okay, so let's go to the technical part. Let's go to the technical part. Minitab. When you take a look here, when you take a look here, it looks like what? Mainly this part here. It looks like what? When you when you yeah. When you look to this part here. It looks like what? You guys tell me. Yes, yes. It looks like Excel, right? It looks like Excel. And here I need to explain something very important. Something very important. The name Excel, yeah, has to do with, uh, I mean, Excel itself, like exceeding, um, but it has also a connection with the word cell, cell, because Excel is a cell based software. Yeah, it's a set. Excel is cell based. That's why many times we just click in uh, equal, yes, and we can kind of write formulas for each cell, yes? Minitab is not cell-based. Minitab is not cell-based. Minitab is column-based. column, column -based. So for each column, you can associate a name, yes? For example, for example, weight of cheese bread who misses cheese bread yeah or cheese bread weight simply yeah so when i write down here when i go to run some graphical analysis or some statistical analysis then i can refer to this column to this column or to this column yes i cannot write down a formula here for example c1 plus c2 you know you cannot do that you cannot do that. Minitab uh, does not operate, you know, based on cell. It's a column based. So if you are taking notes, this is an important thing to, to write down. <coughs> Minitab is a column, column based, um, column based um, column based software. Okay, software, yes? Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful. So you need to associate names, yes, to your, 
to your columns yes and then obviously you will be putting here some data some data so you can just type 12 11 13 yeah you can write down for example 14 15 13 beautiful 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 so no so now i have one column see that there is nothing here there is nothing here so it indicates number i have numbers here but let's suppose i am now saying country country and there is brazil 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 and here is argentina 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 yeah so see now i have a t t as in text so minitab understands that this is a column not formed by numbers but by text yeah and there is another one that is date for example november 2021 yeah november december i'm sorry it is in portuguese here uh in jan january yeah and then the same here so see it's date and it's basically that basically that you can have numbers yeah and here i'll i'll, I'll not be talking about continuous data discrete data uh, not today so you can just consider numbers yeah you can have text and you can have date yeah so please let me know if we are on the same page Minitab, it's a software that exists since 1970s. It was created uh, by a few professors at the Penn State University in the United States. It's the most used, most popular, most famous statistical software uh, in this world. Yeah. Um, you have something that looks like an Excel worksheet, but it is not Excel because Excel is cell based and Minitab is column based. And by the way, column, we can have basically three types of, of, of columns, yeah, of data sets. We can have numbers, text, and date, yes? <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. Does it work if we copy from a PDF? Uh, you can copy from an Excel file. You can open up straight ahead like a, an Excel file. But if you can select Control-C and Control-V, yeah, it works, yeah? It works beautiful excellent excellent and then this is let's say <clears throat> our our input area yeah worksheet it's our input area yeah and then obviously I can run for example I can run for example uh, some analysis yeah and so I have different menus here I have file, I have edit, and by the way, let me zoom in for you guys. Yeah, so I have file, edit, data, calc, stat, graph, view, help, assistant. The new uh, predictive analytics module, absolutely amazing, and, and you guys will find here additional tools. I would strongly recommend, if I need to pick one, it's definitely STAT, okay? STAT is by far the, let's say, the richest, <clears throat> the richest menu on Minitab, okay? There you find all capability analysis, all quality tools, there you find control charts, uh, measurement system analysis, hypothesis tests, regression, yeah <clears throat> power and simple size so it's it's super super powerful the second one i would say it is graph yeah so you have all all the graphical analysis very very powerful very beautiful i like very much the assistant as well assistant is super cool super cool okay so if i had to name if i had to rank three i would say stat first graph and then assistant yeah 
Thank you, André. Thank you. Welcome to the session. Bem-vindo, meu amigo. So, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look here, for example. <clears throat> let's take a look here. Uh, if I go to graph and then I can run a individual value plot, yeah, individual value plot with the weight of cheese bread. And, and this is funny. This is interesting. So, uh, graph and then you can select there are many many graphical tools here I'm gonna select an individual value plot yeah so see when you click there is here a kind of a simple explanation of the tool right <clears throat> so you guys can see that you guys can see that you can examine the distribution of data by plotting it each data point so individual value plot will be plotting each data point it works best with small to moderate sample size and meaning and um, less than 50 yeah so you if you if you position on another tool for example you will get see you get an explanation as well box plot you can check the center spread of your data by plotting the medium. So it's a non-parametric graphical tool. The quartiles, the famous quartiles, and any outliers. Box plot is an excellent way to check, yeah, to flag outliers. But it works best when you have at least 20 data points. So see that the software gives some very interesting, you know, um, very interesting tips, you know, tips um, for you guys, for all of us, yeah? So let's plot a individual value plot. Then we have a few options here. We have simple, meaning just one Y, the weight of cheese bread, yeah? Simple meaning I don't have any sort of segmentation, any sort of separation. For example, I can plot separating by country, Brazil and Argentina, yeah? But at this point, no, I just want to plot, you know, everything as one single data set, yes? You can have multiple Ys, for example, the weight of cheese bread and also how crunchy, you know, the cheese bread is or the temperature, the temperature of cheese bread. Then we are talking about two different Y's, weight of cheese bread and temperature, two, two different variables, yeah? Uh, but without segmentation, without segmentation. And I can have multiple Y's like temperature, I can have weight of cheese bread and separated, you know, segmented, segmented by country, for example, yeah? So in this case, I'm gonna plot a simple, just a simple, uh, individual value plot. When I click, when I select, I, I tell Minitab that I want to plot, you know, a simple, a simple uh, individual value plot, then let's say the, 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 the most important window, you know, opens up for me. And then I need to indicate the variables. I need to tell Minitab. And, and, and I can indicate by double clicking double clicking in the in the in the column that contains my data or i can single click and then click in select yeah so take a look oops take a look Wait a second, guys. <laughs> That's funny. Let me see. I am using a software to help me to zoom in. And I think, oh, yes, now we are good. <laughs> okay, so let's go here. A graph, uh, individual value plot, and then a single click, see, and then select, for example. And then see, 
I have now indicated to Minitab that this is the variable that I want to plot, right? This is the variable that I want to plot. Okay. And then I have in the output area, so it's pretty much worksheet, an input area, and here an output area, yeah? And in this output area, you can select only, see, output only. I don't know if you guys can see here. Uh, one second. At the bottom right, I can select output only, see? Or you can select data only, input only, yeah? Or you can select both, as I am right now. But I'm going to select output only, yeah? So I have here my individual value plot of weight of cheese bread. Yeah, I can double click. I can double click. And then I can, for example, for example, use the branch functionality that I love. I love this branch. Yeah, branch. I am hungry. <laughs> I am so hungry. I am so hungry. Oh my god. I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry. And, and it's true. It's true. I, I am I am now hungry because I am coming from back to back back to back meetings, yeah? And then and then instead of saying brushed, I said brunch. I, I need some breakfast and lunch. Come on! Come on everyone! Bring me some food. I need some food. I need help. I need help. <laughs> the brunch, the brunch functionality on Minitab. That was funny. So it's brushed, brushed. We can brush, yeah, data. <laughs> I really need some cheese bread right now. I truly need. Yeah. So let's take a look. You can click here. <laughs> on this little guy here on the on top left yeah top left yeah uh and and then as far as you select the the right data points you have all the information here so you can just keep you know your left button you know um pressed then you have here all the information yeah and you can add you can add more variables see you can add for example date so when you add date see on the on the right side on the right side yeah on the right side you have all the information yes I'm going to I'm going to give more details about this functionality but at this point let's go little by little step by step at this point is it clear that Hello hello can you guys see me <laughs> Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we are good. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah? Wonderful. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So uh, I need to ask if it is clear that we have an, an input area, an area where we'll be pretty much writing down our data or copying and paste. And we have another area 
for output. Just that. Is it clear? So this is an area for output and this is an area for input. Yeah? This is an area for output and this is an area for input. Is it clear? Yeah? <laughs> Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. So, when I start running different analysis, so for example, right now I have plotted an individual value plot now uh, for all data points. Then I can I can plot individual data pl uh, plot, but now separating by country, by country. So now I have with groups, yes? So now it's a different analysis. It's a different analysis because now I see Argentina and I see Brazil, yeah? When, when I start running different analysis, then my navigator, my navigator becomes very much important because here I can see all different analysis that I have performed. Yeah? And if I run again, let's suppose I am running now another different analysis, for example, interval plot by country as well. Yeah, from our white belt, yeah? So see, now I have three different analyses that are indicated here <clears throat> as part of our navigator. So I need to ask you, I like to go from macro to micro, Minitab and statistical software, very much popular, that presents basically three elements. You have, you know, you have input, output and navigator. It's pretty much that. You have input data, you have output and you have navigator. Yeah. So please type here for me if you understood that so far. If you understood that so far. Professor, please, which version of Minitab are you using? <clears throat> Beautiful. Let me show you where can you check the version. Let me show you where can you check. If you come here to help, yeah, help, about Minitab, about Minitab, then you guys will see that I am using the version 21.2 so it's a it's an updated version of 21 it's the newest it's the newest version okay of Minitab and by the way you guys can find this version for free yeah uh, on minitab.com for 30 days yeah for free for 30 days yeah Beautiful. By the way, guys, any question is a good question. Please post your questions here. I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay? More than happy to help you. Yeah? Yes, that's the interface. Input, output, and navigator. Yes, Stefano. Yeah? <clears throat> Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. Wonderful. You can, you can test. It's a trial. It's a 30-day trial. Yeah? 30-day trial version. Yeah? Beautiful, wonderful, excellent, excellent. So we are on the same page, yeah? We are on the same page. Now, I want to show some very cool functionalities in terms of um, data preparation, data manipulation. Manipulation on a good sense, yes? Data preparation. So there is some very cool, very cool functionalities here, okay? Very cool functionalities. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Uh, I have tried copying and working on it. Uh, Guten, you need to check if you are using the web version or the desktop version. I strongly recommend that you use 
the desktop version. There is a cloud version, yeah, that, yes, that is already available. So it's very useful, mainly if you don't have Windows, if you use Mac, yeah, it's very useful. But at this point, I strongly recommend that you use the desk, desktop, desktop version, okay? Ah, no, uh, Munash, I am using an app named Zoomit. I like to, it, it is not Minitab. It is not Minitab. It's, a, it's an app just to help me, you know, uh, teaching. Because see, when I present here, sometimes it's hard for you guys to see. So, so you can install. The name is Zoomit. Zoomit. Let me type here for you guys. Zoom it. You guys can find, can find um, online for free, for free. And and then when you install, uh, you can use like Control One, Control One. Then it zooms in, yeah. And then Control One again, it zooms out. It's very cool, very cool, yeah. And then when you, when you zoom in for example if you click using the mouse if you click uh, left left button then you get a pen then you get a pen then you can yeah so it's not a, a mini tab functionality can you edit the input data after plotting the graph great question mohammed thank you so much thank you so much that's a great question so let's suppose Mm, it's not 13 it is 9 you know so you can type 9 and then you get a message update these results when you click in update take a look see the graph has changed has changed so yeah this is a very important functionality okay very important any other questions yeah, that's a great idea. Let me stop here and see if you guys have any other questions. All questions are good questions. All questions are welcomed. Questions. My pleasure. My pleasure, Mohammed. Questions, questions? No. Okay. So let me show you guys. I have like three important tips. Okay. So maybe I will go a little bit beyond the top of the hour. Yes. But I'm sure it will be very helpful. I'm sure it will be very helpful. Um, let's suppose you have here uh, speed. Yeah. You have here speed. You have here country it's the speed of the soccer player you know I'm gonna just take out the navigator so we we have more it's kind of clean yeah speed um, player speed yeah and country yeah and then let me I'm gonna generate some random data by the way this is a cool functionality to calc random data and then you can select the probability distribution, yeah? So let me generate 100 data points, speed, the mean is 10. Yeah, so I have a lot of data here for speed. And now I want to separate, let's suppose I took some samples from five different countries, yeah? And I can uh, make some uh, patterned data, see? So I can use, for example, uh, text values, yeah? Text values in country. So I have, um, I have South Africa. I have uh, 
South Africa. I have um, Botswana. I have Philippines. Did I get it right? Philippines. <clears throat> Philippines. Double P. Philippines. Then we have Brazil. And then we have... Um, Malaysia, Malaysia, yeah. Malaysia, yeah. And then I wanna, I wanna have this very same sequence because I have one hundred data points. I wanna have this very same sequence twenty times, twenty times, yeah. So I have now a lot of countries see associated to my data. But see, many times, mainly when you have like um, when you have like uh, manual manual input data, you can have Brazil with Z and then Brazil with S. So see, I have Brazil with S, Brazil with Z. Uh, Botswana, maybe there is a typo with two ends, and then uh, Philippines, maybe there is one with just one P. You know. And then there is uh, South Africa, but there is, I don't know, by accident, there is, or something like this, South Africa. Are, are you guys following me? This is common or not? When you extract, when you extract, you know, uh, a, a, a database, you know, a data set, when you, when you extract, it's very common that this data is not you know, uh, properly cleaned, you know, it's kind of dirty, dirty data, you know, are, are you guys on the same page? Are you guys following me? Because then if you use this dirty data, you can have some, you know, strange outputs. So let's suppose you want to compare the five countries. Let's suppose you want to compare the speed of the player by country, and then you'll be plotting an interval plot. Uh, of speed per country yeah and then you know you have only five countries but then you have one two three four five six seven eight nine see one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you get oh my god South Africa is the same of SA yeah see but then how can you solve that? How can you solve this problem? Maybe you can sort, you know, and go like checking one by one, you know, uh, but you'll be spending a lot of time, a lot of time. Type yes if you understood the problem. It's very common, right? It's very common problem. Please type here if you understood the problem. If you understood the problem. Uh, gotten the web version you will be opening up on a web browser so if you are opening up on a web browser it's the web version okay the desktop version you need to install you need to install yeah there are many questions I'm gonna I'm gonna ask I'm gonna go back to the questions okay just one second before I present this first tip. I have three tips for you guys. So, my recommendation in this case is data recode. Data recode to text. This is so powerful, guys. Data recode to text. Data recode to text so powerful data recode to text so you come here country and then you need to indicate that you'll be recoding recoding 
indivíduo ou velhos. Then you just need to indicate. Ok, Minitab was able to map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you tell Minitab. Minitab, please, recode to which values. So I'm going to tell Minitab. Please, Botswana, Botswana with two double N, you just recode to Botswana. Brazil with S, please recode to Brazil with Z. Uh, Philippines with just one P, recode as Philippines with double P. Uh, SA, please recode as South Africa. See? I don't know if you guys can see. So now I am saying Botswana with double N, just recode using one N. Brazil with S, please recode using Brazil with Z. Philippines with just one P, please recode with Philippines with double P. SA, Minitab, please substitute to South Africa. And where do you want to put all these? recoded columns you can put at the end of the current worksheet but in this case i'm gonna use in its original the original columns okay so see now minitab has recoded recoded column c2 yeah and then when i run my graphical analysis now when I run my graphical analysis, I will have only, only five countries. Yeah? I, I don't know if you if you don't don't deal with like huge data sets, maybe you you cannot have a sense of the value of this functionality. But this is so valuable so valuable this is so important so 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 much important okay did you guys like this type here yes if you like if you like it yeah yeah yes gotten if you if you have installed yeah if you have installed curtiu roberto legal if you have installed the the web version you can change you can change by going to the top right corner yeah you click there and then user and then you go to your mini tab account and then you change web to to desktop yeah so you can recode and you can recode numbers as well it's a it's a very powerful because see the um, in my opinion the most valuable thing in this functionality is that minitab maps out all unique values <clears throat> all unique values and presents a very easy way you know to substitute it's very easy very very easy yeah very very easy yes beautiful beautiful i want to show another functionality i want to show another functionality i'm gonna put here um wait a second I'm gonna plot a, a, a simple <clears throat> time series time series plot yeah <clears throat> speed so um, now I have all my data points plotted here yes how many data points can you easily clearly see that are kind of way too high 
how many data points can you see that are kind of way too high? <clears throat> way too high way too high let me just do one thing while you guys take a look How many data points? Three, beautiful, beautiful. So see, <laughs> then obviously, obviously, you can just go ahead and, uh, and sort. You can just go back, go back to the column and sort to find, to find the proper the proper values, yes, the proper values. Let, let me make this even cooler, even cooler. Like you can have here, for example, machine, machine, then you have supplier, yeah, uh, machine supplier. Let me just create here. In machine let's put uh, Neymar <laughs> Neymar let's put another machine that calls Pelé there is another machine that is named uh, Messi there's another one that is Ronaldo yeah and uh, <clears throat> so I have different machines and I have different suppliers here. Uh, I have different suppliers. There is Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Rafael. Yeah. Thirty-three. I have a uh, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-four. So I can delete these two here. So uh, when I am using that, guys, when I am using this functionality, and let me put few more kind of crazy data points here. Yeah, <clears throat> crazy data points. So. instead of going back and sorting sorting the the our data set you can again use the brush not brunch <laughs> the brush yeah uh, functionality and just select your special data points right click right click and set id variables so you can put, for example, speed, you can put country, machine, and supplier. So now you have all the information you need. See, then you have all the information you need. Yeah. All the information you need to understand, to better understand the data points that are presented here. And more than that, you can, you can, again, select, you can select 
and you can create what we call subset worksheet. What's a subset worksheet? I can ask Minitab just to create another another worksheet including including the brushed the brushed rows see so they are still again they are still highlighted here they are highlighted i can come here subset worksheet match a condition use brushed rows from a graph and then you can exclude or include and you can name here yeah special data points so minitab will create another worksheet only with the data points that i have selected so once again once again i hope it is clear for you guys the value in this very simple functionality because we are in big data times we are living times of huge volume of data so for you to be able to plot over time you know your data and based on the graph you select and you can select different areas you know based on the point data points that you've selected minitab go there and extract you know all the other information on that this is very valuable very valuable okay so i hope you guys can you guys can feel that you guys can feel that you can do like select here and then hit control and then select here yeah and then you can select here yeah i don't know if you guys can see it's still blue here yeah light blue let me show you guys here mm. because i have already selected here uh let me plot again to so see you can uh brush click here and then you can hit um uh, shift shift yeah and then shift again see it's light blue it's light blue yeah so one two three four five six seven seven data points that are presented here at the top at the top um right corner top right corner yeah beautiful wonderful so again let's just i i love to do like a quick recap yeah mini tab it is a software yeah very much popular very much used you have a worksheet yeah input you have output and you have navigator yeah you have basically three types of columns yes three types of data you have numbers you have text and you have date yeah beautiful and there's an indication of if there is nothing it's numbers if there is a t it's text and if there is a d it's it's date yeah wonderful beautiful beautiful and then i have presented so far two functionalities two functionalities yes remember the brush functionality that is very much very much uh helpful i did not count these as one but the first one was you can recode so when you receive your data you can kind of clean your data recoding your data the second one is you can create like subsets you can create you can split your worksheet we call this subset worksheet yeah based on based on uh, any many different criteria i have presented here like when you select and brush your data yeah and my final tip for you guys yeah my final tip for you guys is you can split you can split your worksheet into any many different factors you know so for example you can split this worksheet 
based on based on country you know so if you click in country yeah and hit ok see now I have one specific worksheet for Botswana only Botswana yeah now I have another specific worksheet only for Brazil now I have a specific worksheet for Malaysia and I have a specific worksheet for Philippines yes for Philippines and also one for South Africa I cannot forget my friends in South Africa yes I can't understand how did sixth minute six minutes you know just boom 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 at least for me at least for me it was extremely fast i hope you guys enjoyed this session mini tab very much important software very much important software it is a column based software yeah column based software remember the three types of columns yeah and remember these three tips in terms of data data cleaning you know data preparation yeah data manipulation yeah professor what if the column is a combination of numbers and text it will become text yeah if you have a combination of number and text so for example if you have here instead of Neymar you type 10 you know it keeps as text it keeps as text yeah let me see i i think we have uh, other questions um, i want to take i want to answer all the questions can excel sheet be converted to minitab yes you can open up an excel file in minitab yes i'm working as a graduate quality engineer how to become expert in Lean Six Sigma. Joining us here. <laughs> Join us here. You know, I don't know if you are a white belt. I don't know if you are a yellow belt, green belt. So you need to, yeah, walk the journey, the certification journey of Lean Six Sigma. Okay, gotten. How many? Huh, that's a good one. It depends on your, your computer, Mohammed. But it's up to, yeah, it's if you guys, you guys can just Google. If you guys Google, if you guys Google uh, mini tab number of number of rows, you will find you will find depending on the version. Yes, but it's uh, ten million rows. Ten million rows. Yeah. How many columns? Four, four, four thousand, four thousand columns and ten million rows. Yeah. How do I know uh, this one? I have already. How to save and share our work? Beautiful, beautiful. So you can just come here, file, and then save. I strongly recommend that you save as a project. Okay, that you save as a project. Professor, my mini tab usually wants me to use internet service. Why? Probably because you, you did not log in, or if you are logged in, you need to check if you are using the web version. Web version, you need internet. Yes, desktop version, no. wonderful that's amazing guys i hope you all enjoyed stay tuned yes um next tuesday i'll be back here to have a conversation with you guys to present another topic once again if you were able to join live that's amazing if you are taking this session record it that's special too but try to be here live 
if you are taking this session recorded try to be here live because then i can do all my best to answer your questions you know specifically your questions after the session is recorded then it's kind of harder wonderful can we perform calculation if it's combination of symbols and numbers no god it's I, I i think no one has found a way to like two how tell me how what's the result of two plus t <laughs> two plus two plus water <laughs> two plus water what's the result uh so no no you need to have two plus three two plus four yeah yeah you cannot add up numbers and numbers and text right yeah wonderful thank you so much thank you so much guys i'm glad to know you guys enjoyed have an amazing rest of week and let's stay connected bye bye